Okay, hello everyone. Um, my name's Laura. I'm the project manager for the Birth Project and I work at Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. Birth is a unique collaboration between theatre and science. There are seven birth plays that cover seven different countries, written by seven female playwrights globally, and the controversy is inequality in maternal care. Here's a little taste of what the birth project uh, was about. It started in 2016. It's a common phrase that theatres there to raise questions rather than give answers, but I think in this context that's really important. Because the arts challenge you, make you questioning, and make you maybe slightly uncomfortable. Do you have more women coming to you than men? Uh, there are more women than men at the moment, yes. Why? Women and children are obviously affected more. What's by... worse for women, isn't it? Men bring death and women bring life. Um, so these plays were written not just to live inside the walls of the theatre, but to reach out and be used as tools in the field. I can imagine sections of the plays um, being used in antenatal education and in the education of student midwives. Enabling uh, people to really understand more about the issues so that they can also take action, whether in terms of supporting, volunteering, providing funding to organisations who work on this issue. So, Clearly, it's, it's a very valuable tool. What do you do to street dogs? You sterilise them. What happens to dragonflies in a jar? They die. We are those dogs. We are those flies. Dragonflies ramming our heads into transparent, reinforced glass. I think um, art brings the narrative alive and helps people to see the issue in a different way, through a different lens. So I think it's vitally important that we use this medium to win the hearts and minds of others when we're tackling big issues. And today, I will tell you, inspired by my own relatives, how the birth machine works in my country. We have a quote here from um, someone who saw one of our birth plays at the World Health Organization, which is somewhere where we've taken the plays to, which really sums up the project for us. We have the facts and the evidence. We know the subject matter as well. We've got it in our heads, but we also need it in our hearts. The power of theater and storytelling does that. And that's just what the birth project is all about. It's about the women who are affected by the issues that the plays highlight, and it's about their stories. And we're told time and time again that the, the format of theatre and storytelling um, is so important to bring those issues across. Um, what I'll do is just highlight a little bit about each of the plays, but obviously it's just a really short snippet. Um, please feel free to come along to our stand um, and have a little talk about the project if you're interested in it. Brazilian uh, birth play is called The Birth Machine and it really captures uh, Brazil's recent history in the last couple hundred years, uh, their relationship with birth and in particular how the over-medicalization of birth, which is one of the themes in the play, it is particularly pertinent in Brazil. You may be aware that the cesarean rates in Brazil are incredibly high and in a public hospital we're talking about 45%, in a private hospital it's about 85%. So over-medicalisation is a really key issue here, um, as well as the devaluation of the role of a midwife, for example. Um, and it also, because the plays were developed in 2015-16, it touches upon Zika, which was a real issue at that time. Our Kenyan play, Orchid, um, looks at um, obstetric fistula, which is a, I'm sure you're aware, is it a condition that is incredibly debilitating and it affects one to two million women globally. And what's so uh, 
heartbreaking really about this play, which tells the, the lives of real women, um, is that this is completely preventable and treatable. And the, the real story there is about how these women are perhaps unaware about how to receive treatment or in the first instance weren't able to access um, the quality of care that meant that their condition could have been preventable. And then our China play looks at, um, at the time, that, that cultural shift that China was going through, uh, moving between a one-child policy and a two-child policy. And it also looks at the gender imbalance within China that's the sort of aftermath of the preference of having a son. Our India play um, looks at the fact that until 2016, uh, mass sterilisation was endorsed by the government. And this meant that, in, uh, for example, between 2013 and 14, um, four million Indians were sterilised, and most of these were women. And this play is really about um, body autonomy, it's about knowledge, it's about choice, um, and it's told from the perspective of a doctor. Um, it's, it's told through the eyes of a doctor who's sort of haunted by her particular role in that population control project, really, that the government was running. Um, and it's, it's really interesting play. A Syria play um, tackles some of the... the the worst things that, that women really can encounter, it looks at the story of three women who are fleeing conflict, and they're fleeing war. Their stories are about their journeys through various different countries and things that they encounter, either as a pregnant woman or with a child. Um, it addresses issues like rape, um, sex trafficking, forced cesarean, um, and these are really, really sad stories, and it's brought, that brought about in a really powerful piece of theatre. And it, it leaves us, like many of the birth plays, asking lots of questions about how things should be done and how things could be better for these women. Our UK birth play is about choice. Um, it offers a really different angle to the other plays. Um, it shows a personal account of two women one who's travelling from Northern Ireland to England to have an abortion, and another who's living in England um, and looking at her fertility options as a single woman. So there are lots of themes that are addressed in this play, but one of the overarching themes is voluntary or involuntary childlessness and what that means to different women, what it means to have choice. And the final birth play is our USA birth play, this is about um, inequalities, structural inequalities in the healthcare system in the States. You, you're probably aware that it's one of the, it's the most expensive country to give birth in globally, but it has the highest mortality rates for women. And if you're a black woman, you're four times more likely to die than a white woman. So this play looks at lots of different angles from lots of different women's voices. Um, and what it means to be faced with those structural inequalities, what that feels like day to day. It also looks at over-medicalisation of birth and the impact that that can have on, on patient experience. So those are some of the issues that the, the plays address. Um, but like I said, the real the really fantastic thing about this project is how it tells the stories of women and how that storytelling brings to life the issues that, that we may already be aware of. Birth was a project that started in 2016. There was a birth festival in Manchester. Um, and since then, we've taken the project to different theatre festivals. We've been to Edinburgh Fringe, we've been to Dublin Fringe. Um, we've also been and hosted our own events across the country. We've taken the birthplays to the World Health Organization to showcase some of those issues to policymakers to provoke debate and thinking around those issues. And what's next for the project is we want to continue hosting birth events and birth debates. We want to continue um, starting the conversation about these inequalities and lots of individuals and organizations have also taken birth as a resource and hosted their own birth events, uh, big or small. And it's really through the voices of others as well that we can continue 
um, creating meaningful debates about the issues of, around maternal inequalities. Birth is available on our website, though the seven birth plays are available to download free as a resource, and they're currently being used as an educational resource by lots of institutions across the UK and globally, particularly midwifery courses, um, anthropology courses, sociology courses. Um, and we found that people like to use them with small or large groups because the act of reading through a play together or watching someone and at that play brings to life those stories and those statistics more than just reading them on a piece of paper. Um, we have also developed a toolkit which is useful for anyone who's interested in using the plays which examines all of the issues that are brought in the plays. There are more that I've talked about here in this quick presentation. Um, it also gives examples of other resources that could be used, blogs, podcasts. Um, and we really encourage people to download the plays uh, and use them in, in a way that they see fit. Um, today, we've got a stand, so please come and have a talk to us about the project if you're interested in it. Um, head to our website if you'd like to download the plays, if you'd like to watch the debates that have taken place, um, or if you'd like to look at the toolkit or some of our workshop and lecture plans. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about the project. Thank you.